Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're gonna be going through some old nostalgia. I used to play this in like middle school, and this game was like extremely fun. I was just like, screw it, since Dragon Blaze is up and you know, kind of like going through maintenance right now, it's time to do something that I haven't done in a while. Okay, game, chill. I, I understand that you guys still have the old classic if you just sit at the start screen, something random happens, or a trailer plays. But yeah, this is like an extremely old game. It's one of those um, games for Windows Live games, which took me a while to actually fix and set up. So yeah, I was able to actually find the old disc I used to have. And yes, it is for PC for most of you guys who have played it on the Xbox 360 like I have, which I didn't really know. So I just ordered it from Amazon. Amazon has a few of them. So I do say, Go out there and get him. <laughs> Wolf's Garden. Um, let's go with Wolf Topia. Okay, that is. Wait. You to. Oh, nope, oh, that is not. Yeah. What? Let's just go with Wolf's Garden. <laughs> I don't know what I want to name it. Hmm. All right. I, I see what I did wrong there. Voltopia. There we go. D don't judge. My whole brain just went completely. Alright, the only thing that are in your controls. Like, this game is actually pretty limited to what you can do. Hold on, let me show you guys. I had to go into the actual file to change the resolution because changing this does not work. It only has, like, these weird settings. Look at that. And nothing else. That's why I had to go into the settings and change things. Then I had to put everything on high. It... <sighs> why did I say settings? I had to go into the folder, the actual game folder, and mess with notepad and stuff just to get it right. Whoops. I guess since I pushed escape, it sent me all the way back. Alright. Alright. Let's get started. I've just been sitting here for like probably three or five minutes. Get set for Viva Pinata. An ever-changing world full of endless possibilities because this is a world where you get to call the shots. The pinata creatures and plant life that inhabit this land are all determined by you. From the minute you dig your first hole and plant your first seeds, you're well oh, that didn't even sound right. attracting your first pinata visitor. If they like what they see, these pinatas may even move in. You'll also be able to name your Oh yeah, I'm going to let you guys name them a couple of them too. You can choose which to collect. And which to Life on Pinata Island is never all daisies and apple trees. When illness or danger threatens, you'll need to be the one who comes to the rescue. This is your world to explore and ultimately transform into whatever you want. So feel free to change anything, everything, if only to see what happens. The world of Viva Pinata. They make it sound so easy, but I remember this game being very chaotic. Like, your pinatas would eat other pinatas, then there would be pinatas you don't want to die that would kill each other. It's like this whole vicious cycle that you have to go through. God, this nostalgia looks so beautiful. Except for our garden. Our garden has seen better days. Oh, hello. I was hoping someone would come and help me tidy up this mess. Uh, you must be the new owner. I'm Lefos, and I'm here to help you. You just said tidy up this garden. You, you mean this shipwreck of a yard first let's get you used to looking and moving around the garden close this alert by clicking anywhere on the screen by pressing and holding down the right mouse button and moving the mouse side to side you can look left and right or if you move the mouse backwards and forwards you can look up and down give it a go and then come back and talk to me all right so i don't know if i should do like a series on this yet you guys let me Close know. Good. Okay. 
What the? What? I'm just trying to look around, but okay. Hey. Hey. Oh. Can I? Well done. Now move oh. the camera and find me. I was about when to. You do, move the mouse pointer over me and click the left mouse button so we can continue exploring the garden. This is definitely way different from the 360. I definitely like the controls. It does feel feel like a lot easier to navigate other than using the controller. But then again, I could be wrong. We haven't even got like real far in. Hey. There's not really that much to see at the moment, so why don't you close this alert by clicking anywhere on the screen? Well done! Now that you can navigate around the garden, it's time for a present! Oh my god, a present? What do you have? I don't remember a lot about this game anymore. It's gonna take me a while to relearn this. Oh my god, I have a flying book. I'm Harry Potter right now. I've given you the journal. Click the left mouse button anywhere on the screen to finish talking to me. Next, click on the blue button to open the menu, and then I'll tell you what to try next. Wait, blue, blue button? Oh, menu. <laughs> I was like, wait, what blue button? I'm Welcome not using the controller. Welcome to menu. Close this alert by clicking anywhere on the screen, and then you can move the mouse pointer over the various options. The leaf in the middle will point to the different things that you can do. Put the mouse pointer over the journal icon and select it by clicking the left mouse button. Okay. This is the journal. It stores all the information that you discover when you are playing the game. The journal is split up into different parts to make it easier to find what you need. It works just like the menu. There's not much to see yet, so have a quick look and let's get back to the garden. Okay. What's in here? How to? Oh, that's just the camera and settings and stuff? Alright. Go back. There's your first alert! Whenever something important is happening, this is how you'll be told. So this is down here. Alerts will wait down here for you to look at them. If something is very important, the alert will open automatically. If you have more than one alert, you can choose which one to open by moving the mouse pointer over its icon and clicking How about the left just mouse getting button. rid of them? When you fit time for another present. Oh my god. It's something you can't manage without. It's my birthday. I'm getting a lot of presents. What is it? What the? That's the shittiest shovel I've ever seen in my life. I, I don't want it. Okay, grab your shovel from the menu and turn this mess into your dream garden. I'm pretty sure Select if I hit one thing, the shovel's going to break. Mouse pointer over me and clicking the left mouse button, and then either click on the green button or click the left. All right, this part I know. Something's coming back to me. The buttons oh. in the top right of the Hold screen on, this... tell you what you can do with the shovel. Once you've selected an option, just click the left mouse button in the garden to use the shovel. I have four bits of advice. One, you can clear the hard soil more quickly if you press and hold the left mouse button. Two, you can quickly put the shovel away by clicking the right mouse button. Three, the shovel is old, but it won't break. And oh. four, okay. if you hit piñatas, they can become ill. If you'd like more advice, click on the yellow button. Okay, yeah, this is weird. Oh no, even like moving off the edge moves my screen. I don't like that. If I remember correctly, if you hit her too many times, she gets pissed at you. Oh no, hold on. My bad. I clicked too soon. If you try to hit me once more, I shall teach you a lesson. Yeah, characters really don't like it when you hit them with the shovel. This is what happens you if you... need to clear away the junk and uh, hard soil. Let's get moving. I... Yeah, this is what happens if you hit, uh, Beavos with it. That's it! I warned you. Let's see how you get on without your shovel for a while. Yeah, she takes your shovel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't progress. 
She'll give it back, uh, like, real soon. You need to... I can't really do anything if you still have my shovel, you know. Yeah, your shovel's completely missing from your, um, menu. So you gotta wait for her to give it back. So we're just gonna sit here until she... Until she at least, you know, decides to give it back. Please. I'm sorry. You need to clear away the junk and the I, hard I soil. I can't. You still have my shovel. Shovel return. See? There we go. <laughs> Some characters it can um it can give like perks to. Like I remember there was one dude who gave like seeds and if you hit him like seeds dropped off of him. Oh. Hello little worm. How are you? Don't don't come in my garden. I don't need any worms out here. Well done. You attracted a worm. The worm has turned up because worm. you have uncovered some good soil. Uh, that's so weird to pronounce that. The worm? Worm? Ah, turn this way. So you're supposed to be breaking all this stuff and get rid of it, so... Yeah. 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 Alright, I think that's everything. How about what up? Yeah. 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 Give me this. I was about to say, I hear you over here somewhere, worm. Hey. Don't don't interrupt my um dirt removal process here. Go on somewhere else. I do think you gain XP. Take this grass seed packet as a reward for getting your first visiting worm. It never runs out of seeds. Click the left You guys got some real Click magical it. items here. You have a shovel that won't break no matter what, so that's that's automatically good for a crime scene. <laughs> you have a magical packet that will never run out of seeds. Oh. Which uh, is good for making the a lot of work for you know. Well, actually, it's really good for those who run like those lawnmower companies, like mowing your lawn. They could just come by and just pour a whole bunch of high grass. You know what? I'd be pissed if somebody did that. Just come to my freaking house and just pour a whole bunch of like grass everywhere. I think at that point I'll start cutting it myself, but then again, they, they could probably be scumbags that just come back every time you mow it. So I do remember there was like some patches of dirt that you couldn't get rid of no matter what you did. Yeah, that little speck right there, that was, that was like the thing that really got on my nerves back then. Still does. Still does. Sorry for you people who are OCD, but you got to live with it. All right, we are now done with that. Now then, let's go ahead and pour some of this. The grass seed packet is simple to use. Click anywhere on the screen to go back to the game and look at the buttons in the top right of the screen. They'll tell you what to do with the packet. Then, just press and hold the left mouse button to start pouring or pulling up grass. Oh, so you can pull up. I never knew you could actually do that. So, wait. What? God damn it, worm. Well, welcome to the garden, buddy. You know what? Somebody has to come up with a good first name for this guy. Did you see the color change? The worm has become a resident. It likes your oh garden my God. so much it's going to stay here. Uh, no, Try no. naming your new resident. Just close this alert by clicking anywhere on the screen. Put away any tool you have open and select your worm by moving the mouse pointer over it and then... Oh yeah, you can control some of them and move them around. I forgot about that. Did 
you see the color change? Okay. Let's go back to what we were doing. Because I was trying to figure out how to... Ah, okay. That's, that's good to know. You know what? Let's just fill up this whole garden with grass now. Alright, I think we're done. But all you OCD people, look at the suffering I have to go through. And also, you guys have to go through it too. But do not worry, I will be putting houses on top of these or getting rid of them, putting guard something over them. Because it, it bothers me too. It, re it really does. If I could just get rid of this, it would be quite lovely, you know. But, yeah, as I click on it, it's not going to go away. Why? So what now? If you are using a tube. Oh yeah. Go over there. So we got two worms. Now that you have selected your piñata, the buttons in the top right of the screen have changed. Go back to the garden and click on the yellow button. You can get information on almost anything by selecting it and clicking on the yellow button. All right, let's have some fun. Close this alert and then click on basic info with the left mouse button. Now you can change your piñata's name, which helps you to find it in the garden and keep track of its piñata life. Okay. So we have grass or soil, which mostly I have grass now. Well, everything's pretty much grass, so... And now all he needs is his house to, you know, have magical relations. Oh. Willie, I think he builds houses, doesn't he? Oh, so you're not going to say anything at all? Okay. Let's go. No, I wanted to read that. I thought I could, like, grab it and scroll down. No. I think I have to use the arrow keys. Noted. Normally you don't get this until like further in the look, game. Look, a donut has come to look at all of that lovely grass you've grown. You can't have any. Oh my god. It's a snake. Oh, I just remembered something. I just remembered the Easter egg with this snake. You are doing very well. A serpent has appeared because you have grown some grass. I just remembered the Easter egg with that snake. I'm gonna try it, like, later on. Congratulations! You've attracted a sparrow mint. Sparrow mint can hear a worm wiggling from miles away and will come to take a look. It comes to the garden out of everything. I'm pretty sure there's like a whole bunch of them out there. Tell to go away. Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, so let's cover up this first patch. Well, if Leaf could move. Thanks. Jeez. Leaf is always in the way. Alright. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure you could see him coming from like a mile away. Hey, buddy. Hurry up. Come over here and build this house. I think we'll be done once we see, like, the romantic part of the worms and everything. Hey, we can see where he is, right? Where's this one? My headphones are gonna fly off my ear if I keep doing that. Here's Willie! Woo! Is this path getting longer? I should charge more for long distance jobs. I swear to God, if you do, I will no longer be in needs of your service. Oh, look, there he is. What do you need? Oh, they need to create some uh, romantic tension. Alright, no worries. I don't know why a bird would love to see worms getting busy, but it's okay. Not gonna question it. Are right, you done? 
Oh, he's left that seal of approval on. I did it. Okay, that time I didn't even click anything. I I was holding my left, well, no, my right click. So I guess that cancels it out. Note to self, don't hold it. You see, you guys got the best house in the world. Now that you've provided the worms with everything they need, the hearts above their heads show that they are ready to romance. To begin, put your mouse pointer over any worm and click the left. I remember how to do this. Now that you've I'm selected a, a worm, close this alert and this worm is ready to be directed. Now the cursor will split into two. Close this alert and move the other half of the cursor onto. And it begins. <laughs> what if it turns out Vina Pinata was just a whole big sexy game? Welcome to the romancing mini game. You need to take control of your pinata and try to reach your partner without hitting any losers. Move the romance pointer oh, no. and press and hold the left mouse button to make your pinata move towards it. If you hit a loser, you will lose a chance and waste some of your time. If you lose all of your chances, the game is over. These are all of my chances. I'm coming to catch a girl. Also, this was the best way to make uh, coins as well. Oh, good God. You don't touch it. Okay, there we go. We got this. Uh, no, grab. This is how you... This is pretty much foreplay. Don't know what I think about it. This is pretty much foreplay. Now you've completed the game, your happy piñatas will go into their house and do a romance dance. Yep, pretty sure Pina Piñata was just a sex game disguised as a children's game at this point. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna go see the romance dance. Oh my god, look at the moves. How could you resist that? Oh, oh my god, she has moves of her own. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I get down. What's. Hi. <laughs> Your pinatas have made an A. After pinatas have done the romance dance, a new baby pinata is brought to the garden, safely packed in a patterned egg. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Oh my god, so many alerts. Get it out of here. Oh, wait, where did you come from? What do you need? Oh, you need one of those mouse. But I like those mouse. They look so adorable. Now he is part of the garden. He is now one of us. Welcome to the train, train wreck, buddy. <laughs> this is gonna go good. It's not gonna go good. Yes, drop thou egg. I didn't even click anything that time. Thanks. There he is. No. Coming to the garden. Worry no more. Your new egg has been delivered safely. Another successful mission for Storkos, the people's champion. Not my champion. What are you talking about? Every time. Okay, really? Every time a new pinata is hatched in your garden, your label is fixed to it. You can change your label by using the label designer on the main menu. Click on the green button to close this alert. Bring up the menu with the blue. Okay, we're gonna do that before we uh actually end up here menu label oh dear god what the hell kind of coloring is that and let's not go random that seems like a terrible idea go back is this like full on random yeah I think it is
Where is black? Where is green? I don't know. That's... Actually, I do like this green a little bit more. Which frame should we go with? Eh, I like that frame. I'm gonna make the most terrible looking label. Just because, you know, it's me. I make a whole bunch of terrible things. I kind of want to keep this face. I don't feel like I want to change it. I was about to say, I probably have to change this though. Maybe I'll just change this one to pure black too. Oh, well, hold on. They had like way more stuff. Too bad this game doesn't have online anymore because, um,. Pretty sure games for window kind of shut down because Microsoft didn't want to keep up with it anymore. So yeah, no more online access for this game. You have to actually create like a local account, which is unfortunate. You can't really talk to others. I'm gonna go with this because I'm edgy, and plus I got like I like pirates, so <laughs> that's perfect for me. Save changes. Alright guys, we're going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want this as a series and make sure to put names out for our little worm. You've got two Sparrow Mage residents now. That's good work. The next stage is to get them to roam. Okay, that's cool. A baby piñata is ready to grow up. Wait, did it already hatch? Where the hell did it go? Oh, here it is. It's in its cocoon phase. Alright, make sure to name the three worms and our little pearl friend here as well. The best names I will be picking from. So if you guys just want to give one name. Now that you've raised a baby yeah, okay. worm, Never mind. I feel like um, I can I'm really trust guys. you. I, I, guys enjoy yes, a good I'm going to grab this one just because it gives me the little mouse. And I'm going to plant that right there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed before they talk more to them. Peace out. Well done. You planted your seed. Okay. Kind of wanted to end it, but you didn't. You, you just forced my hand at this point. Please, please stop. <laughs> Let me end it. <laughs>